Well, today we're here at the uh, Mandeville Seafood Fest. It's the opening evening, and uh, the crowds are getting larger as the sun goes down. We have some great bands out here. It looks like it's going to be just a terrific evening. The JCs started this 33 years ago, and it's been active ever since. The uh, Mandeville Seafood Association does it now, but the JCs actually started it. It's Mandeville's premier event of the year, and it also provides for a lot of good charitable donations to our, um, to our community. It's a lot shaded. Um, it's, it's just a fun event. It's on the water, which it was at the harbor in Mandeville, but it was on a lot of concrete. Here, um, we have a lot of grass. We have a lot of trees. You're open to the public area, to the beach area, to the water. They have a water park out here now for kids. There's a nice breeze off the lakefront. It's a better place for us to have our festival because we can spread out and have more room. The state park here is a beautiful setting. I've never seen anything like it. and. Uh, Plus all the seafood, it's, it's just, it's great. I mean, it's, it's not like they're selling corn dogs or, or you know, uh, funnel cakes or anything like that. Shrimp and lump crab meat that goes in the pistolet. We have blackened shrimp, grilled vegetables, crawfish sausage that goes on a pistolet with grilled onions, bell peppers, and red peppers. We have fried shrimp, crawfish beignets, and hush puppies. We're waiting for more to come out of the grease because they're selling like hotcakes. It's the Mandeville Seafood Festival, so we're all about providing great seafood, which is, of course, Southeast Louisiana is all about. So we've got shrimp, crabs, and crawfish for sale here, and uh, it's, it's a good weekend. What makes Louisiana seafood so great? It's, it's Louisiana seafood, whether it's shrimp, crawfish, oysters, goldfish, whatever it is, it's just it's an amazing, amazing place for seafood. Uh, this, is, uh, this is our first year here. I've lived here for almost 12 years and uh, you know one of the things that keeps me here is the seafood. I'd say that we have uh, seafood that will change your life so come on out and give it a shot. I'll tell you what, we've got some of the largest selection of food. If you like seafood and you're not satisfied, you don't know what you're missing. It is absolutely fabulous. You name it, they've got it. Boiled seafood, you know, grilled seafood. It's, it's incredible. I mean, if you love to eat, and I love to eat. People that know me know I can eat. And it is some of the best selection I've ever seen out here. It really is. How does this year differ from last year? It seems like we've got a lot bigger selection of food than we've ever had in previous years. It really does. And it seems like the quality is up too. I would tell people if they love to eat, there is something here for everybody. And if you don't like seafood, they have non-seafood items too. But the food is just outstanding. The variety, you can't beat the variety. They've got some amazing craft vendors out here. This little rack's to cook all your vegetables in. You cook them in the oven, broiler, smoke, or grill. This way to cook them, and this way to clean them out. Get you some peppers, cut the cap off, poke this down each side of the membrane. There's two or three veins that hold the membrane in there. Turn it right, pop it right out. Two sweeps gets all the insides out. Get them empty like that. Put your shrimp in there, chicken, or some steak. Big old cube of pepper jack cheese. Have it sticking out so melt over it. Then wrap it in prosciutto ham or some outboard bacon. Toothpick through it to hold the bacon. Set them a grill. Set them in the oven 20 minutes or on the hot grill about 17 minutes. Now if you don't feel like cooking peppers, flip it over. Put your skewers in there. Make them really cook kebabs. Your tomatoes don't blow up. Your onions don't burn. Seven minutes, flip it over. You got a perfectly cooked kebab and a way to serve it. And we have a patent pinning on that. Also on this here, you can cook your bell peppers, your onions, your tomatoes. Your artichokes, your quail, a couple corners of game hens. I cook a bell pepper about 10 minutes with some Spanish rice in there I made on the stove top. Get it cooking good, pull it out, put all your stuffed jalapenos, maybe some mushroom caps, pop it back in, you got a feast in about 30 minutes. This is your appetizers, eat that. This is your meal, eat that. And for the kiddos, put a couple of apples in there, core it, red hot candy, big chunk of caramel, 10 minutes candy apple dessert. You got a three course meal for under five bucks with one piece of metal. Come get one. We've been doing this for about seven years, and uh, this is about our third festival this year. We came down here because uh, uh, it's a seafood festival, and uh, we've never been in South Louisiana before. We normally do the festivals up in uh, North Louisiana. We just thought I'd come down here and see what we could do and, and uh, check it out. 
Most of it was is Louisiana themed artwork. Now she's doing these bigger pieces, which are actually uh, made out of uh, old window frames, and then she gets old tin and cuts it out. And as you can see on, on this particular one, this Bayou State, it has screen on the back of it. And uh, she takes old license plates and cuts them out. And uh, it's just really a, a, a neat little Louisiana piece. It's original artwork. Everybody always compliments me on how talented she is. And that makes me feel good. I'm just glad to be here. First of all, we have our unique handmade plaques. They're made by concrete and plaster and they are painted with rubber buck. Since Hurricane Katrina, as we all know, was devastating, and we all fought back, which we all did, and people just were devastated about the storm, and then we came back as one, and we did it. So that's why we created all the stuff that pertained to Louisiana. Wine caddies over here in the front are handcrafted, hand designed, and basically we, you know, take the ten man, so to speak, and we create everything from ball players, saints, and LSU players to doctors and lawyers and professionals and fishermen and chefs and on and on and on. And we have a great time with them. They're unique. We have car freshener, car fragrance. We have uh, these special telephones where you can actually take your cell phone, which would be your iPhone or your Blackberry, is that what it's called, and plug it in and actually convert it to a regular retro telephone. So you can walk down the mall and turn heads and be like, what the heck's going on? Well, I'm on the phone. And we have the LSU doorbell. And by the way, these are just two wires. They light up two wires and you have the black one this is the crawfish doorbell we have the pewter the silver and the black and gold so there's five different choices of a fleur-de-lis cast iron doorbell and these are also very popular monogram towels and we've got a selection here that people can go through everything from again from sports to chefs to water meters to uh, burp cloths you know Saints LSU boy girl it's great to have these because it gives people an opportunity to go out and enjoy themselves and in our case to see something different something they don't see every day and we like the idea of finding things that other people that don't necessarily have you name it, I paint it. Anything in the world you can come up with, I will flat do my best to try to put it down there for you. And that's usually just how it works. So uh, it takes, usually a bayou scene on a P-Row takes about three minutes. It takes an entire three minutes, like, like that. Yeah, you can tell me whatever you want in it, I can put it down to. Uh, that's about the least amount. I think my r world record, I guess I would call it, would be about two, uh, about two minutes. You know, just uh, just right there at two minutes. So that's pretty quick. Just come out, you know, support it. They got a lot of uh, arts and crafts right here. They, uh, a lot of people put a lot of hard work into it. We'd love to see you here. We've been coming to the festival for years. Great festival, great city, good music, good food. It's a good time. Come on out and enjoy yourself. It's a great cause for the charities in, in uh, Mandeville and the surrounding areas. And it's a great time for all.